Hey you guys, Lulu here. I hope you're having a shit day. Today's video, we're trying something new out. Reacting. Aww. Yes, yes, I know, very original, but this can be interesting. So hear me out. Question, have you ever rode your ass cheeks like a scooter? Will Sea Dog VA finds out attempting to play Final Fantasy XIV? But first came the fucking impossible challenge of making an account. Or three of them. He runs into some difficulties which I'm sure some of you can relate to. Huh, what the fuck? Anyway, let's do this shit. Baka. I'm trying to remember the last time I actually watched something just to prove people wrong. Cause I, I literally played Final Fantasy just to like- Out of spite? Of, yeah, <laughs> just to- so I can accurately but you ended up it. <laughs> no, I mean I, I knew I liked it, but I only yeah. played it because of like Spite Night and I wanted to accurately give opinions sure, on why sure. it's yeah, good or bad. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure there'll be like games that I, I despise. Like um I'm I'm playing Final Fantasy fourteen and I'm sure I'll I'll not like that. I don't think just does, like no, that. I don't think I'll, it just does not seem like a Bro, game and let me enjoy. let me tell you this. Um it, it is a nightmare to set up that game. I don't know if you've ever Yeah. You've ever, yeah. <laughs> it's funny you are not the first person to say that. Usually it has to do with account issues. People trying to spend their hard earned dollary dues to get the damn game. I recall a couple years back now, a bald streamer called Asmon Gold made numerous attempts to buy the game until he had to get his editor to buy it for him. Ah, oh, Square Enix, I do love your website. Please fucking fix it. The uh, the Mog thing. Oh, Mog Station. Mog bro. Station. Don't that even is get it. me started. Go on, try. I, I sometimes. I like... knew it was going to be bad when it was a Japanese company, but yeah. I didn't know how bad. Yeah. The, the website is, the mock station is stuck in like 20, the, the yeah, early dude. 2000s. I, I, I installed the game and it opened up like a Windows Vista window to yeah. install it. I was like, what? <laughs> Strap yourself in and spread your cheeks wide. It's short story time. Around 2016, I was chatting to a friend who was in charge of back end website structure for Square Enix London, which also covered the bloody Mog station. Back then, if you can imagine it, the Mog station was even worse than it is now. Anyway, I was talking to him about Final Fantasy XIV and how I'm having a blast. The topic of conversation moved on to how awful it was to try and subscribe to the game. All of a sudden, he burst out screaming. Yeah, I know right, you have no idea how frustrating it is working on the back end of that outdated shit. Anyway, he was forever pulling his hair out, trying to get them to upgrade their website. But their response was, if it isn't broke, no need to fix it. Laugh my fucking ass off. What is this? And the fact you need a uh, two-factor authentication, which like, I, I remember do? setting up, I remember setting up that two-factor and it you has to be set up through like the Mog Station, whatever thing. And I I could not, like trying to re-log into my account, I could mm. not fucking find how to get this two-factor authentication. Cause- I, I made, I made uh, three Square Enix accounts. Yeah. <laughs> because the first one, um, I, I, you know, okay, another thing, right? So, okay, let's, I'll, give, I'll give you the full, full timeline. So this is my, right. I spent three hours last night trying to get my Mog Station working. Okay. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. In like 2000, and <laughs> I'm, I, 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 I'm, play, I'm literally playing it tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. But I, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm excited still. But this was funny. Cause I was like, this is almost comical at how bad this is to install mm. as a game. Like I, so first of all, it's on Steam. And I asked people, I was like, is, should I do the Steam? Like, no, 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 no. Don't no. do the Steam one. No, no, no. And then, yeah, everyone said that. I was like, okay, I want to do the Steam one. That makes sense. Cause you know, Japanese uh, like UI and stuff like that. It's not off, it's not like yeah. Fortnite level where it's like, you could fucking log on on a toaster somewhere and it'll perfectly sync up to your, yeah, your yeah. thing at home on a different account, whatever, you know, like that. Yeah, it's there. Uh, give me a moment. The phone is going. Yes, complaints department. Hmm, you don't like this video. Well, how about you suck my big fat <laughs> <clears throat> oh, thanks for waiting. It was just the president of the Dildo Enthusiast Club. He takes it up the ass. Anyway, you watching right there do me a favor. Like this fucking video right now. Otherwise, I'll delete your favorite glamour and you don't want that pup. Try me. I know it's not that level. So I went to the this Square Enix account and this is where I started getting tough because hey, my first issue, and this is a very me specific issue, is obviously I want to play in English. Mm. Yeah. But I live in Japan. Yeah. So there's already like Square Enix website was desperately trying to make me go on the, the Japan one. Yeah. And I, I, I was trying to not do that because I didn't, 
I, w- I wasn't sure how it would work if I would be locked into did Japanese. You, did you have the problem of making multiple accounts for different regions? Um, so I went to make the first account and I made it in America. Mm. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because I didn't know, I didn't <laughs> yes. realize what was, what was going to happen. Yes, nor did I. I, I this this because, is like your, your Because I, I thought, no big deal. Well. I'll just say I'm in America because I, I intend to play on the American service. Sure. Yeah. So I was like, no big deal. Mm. Yeah. And I, I, you know, went through it and then they asked for my address. It was, was like, a big oh. deal. I was like, oh yeah, I was like, he will find out. It was a big deal. <laughs> it was it a big deal. Big deal. So so the, first, the first account randomly just got locked. I, yeah. I, I don't know what okay. it was, I just randomly yeah. locked it. And I was like, well, luckily for me, I have like 19 emails, so mm. it's fine. We can, I can play this game all day. Yep. But by my pseudo VA username that I had, very nice, that was gone now, because mm. now it's locked behind something. <laughs> so I made another account and then made it on the America one, got through it. And then I got to the, the payment details and I kept getting this error. When I kept trying to buy it, yep. even though I know it's a free trial, I try to get the starter pack. Yeah. I, just, I was like, I don't, I just, I just want to pay for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're know. gonna have to pay for it eventually. Yeah. Anyway. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just pay for it. So um, I tried to set up this account, and every time I went to go pay, it kept giving me this error, mm. and I was like, what the fuck is this error? And I googled the error, and it was like, oh, because I wasn't yo, in America, yo, trying yo. to make an Amer- like an, a payment for an America. Oh, Square Enix are probably the worst company at taking money from you. If it was Blizzard, they'd spread those cheeks for you, slap you on the ass whilst pulling Monopoly money out of your wallet. And yes, you'd be begging for more with a smile on your face. Uh, I recall the whole Asmongold anime arc where he tried the game. He made one complaint about the Mog Station. Two weeks later, it gets upgraded with a new lick of paint. That being after 10 years of people complaining, the website is still camel shit. Thing. Yeah, it was like, you need no. to be in the same region to make the payment. Oh so I was God. like, okay, all right. Start from scratch, made a new account. Uh, so I signed up on, on in Japanese and I'd use all the Google Translate to, mm. to you know go through it. And I, got, I got through it all. And then um, it was it was fine until I got to, it wanted me to fill in my information. Now, anyone who's lived in Japan, you'll know this horrible moment that you get to. I don't have a kanji name. Um, and certain, and you know- What do you mean? You have Tanaka. Well, <laughs> here, well here, okay. Oh my God. So in Japan, Japanese websites, they will ask for two names, your like kanji name, and then your like fur, furigana, like furigana. How, to, how to spell it in like yeah, hiragana yeah. or uh, katakana. katakana. And um, it just, it would not accept my name in Katakana. Is it because you- You thought it might use... be the half width, full width. This is another bullshit thing that <laughs> Japanese websites have where they have a full width character and a half width. Basically yeah. big characters or small characters. And sometimes some websites only require you to use a specific one that you have no way of doing unless you like uh, find the thing on your keyboard mm. or go to a website and convert it. It's yeah. bullshit. I tried every single combination. I tried my name in English. I tried my name in Hiragana, full width, half width, didn't work. Tried my name in uh, Katakana, full width, half width, didn't work. I was like, what the fuck? Fuck. But for some reason, Kona, my actual, like just Kona was fine, but my second name, Kofuru, and it was like, that's not a name. <laughs> <laughs> so I put Kona, Kona, and it was like, oh, great. I was like, what the fuck? They're just saying my name is not a name. This is bullshit. Bro went for the Mario name, man. <laughs> I was like, this is fucked. <laughs> So I was like, fine. So I finally got my account set up after I put my name and now my name's Connor Connor. Yeah. So then I go to go pay and I go to put my payment details in and it keeps giving me errors. And I'm pretty sure it's because my name is Connor Connor and on my card, it's not Connor Connor. <laughs> but I can't put my name on the card because the website wouldn't take it. Final Fantasy, what the fuck is this shit? I think it's time the eighth umbral calamity came about and took a big old hentai bukkake all over the Final Fantasy XIV website. Yoshi P, please, O oh Lord and Savior of cat girl weebs and furry enjoyers, please nuke this god awful website already. Even Welsh people are struggling to figure out your fucking website. So Square Enix is two stores yeah. and you can buy from Amazon. I was like, all right, here we go. All right, finally, finally, Amazon, a store uh, I know will deliver. Trustworthy. Nah. Because when I was putting in my payment information, it, <gasps> I could click card uh, and, ma- and buy it or click a code. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'll just get a code. This just seems easy. I'll get a code. Mm. So I go to Amazon to buy it. And I go to Amazon.jp with their link from their website. And then it goes, ah, nah, sorry. This only ships for America. A digital code. And I shit you not. I think if you go there right now, I can, I mean, have a look. Like I, what? the web, if you go to, yeah, click that. This shit is <laughs> fucked, man. Look, look at this shot. shit. Look at this shit. Look at this. All right, okay, all good, all good, right? Yeah. Okay, put it in your car. Looks, all looks great, looks good. Uh, go okay. to buy it. 
If, if this works, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Digital items will be available in your what orders. The heck? Yeah, it works. <laughs> Dude, on my Amazon page, it's like, nah, sorry, we can't fulfill it. It's from America. I was. Yeah. So this is the down, this is the download. I, I was clicking the download version. It literally, the, the exact same thing. I just clicked that. And it works perfectly fine. What the fuck? <laughs> so then I was like, okay, I can't get it from there. I can't get it from Mog Station. Yeah. And then I go to, to the Final Fantasy, the Square Enix store, which is different from the Mog Station yeah. store. And finally I get the code and I buy it. I don't know why Square Enix is cool with it. And Mog Station isn't the same company, Yeah. but yeah. I finally get the code and I install it. And then it just doesn't recognize that I have that version. It keeps yeah. saying like, oh, start your free trial now. You've got to be slapping my ass cheeks like a set of bongos. Many of you think a realm reborn is the thing that will stop new players from getting into the game. No, fuck that. It's being able to play the damn game in the first place. I know I'm taking a dump on Final Fantasy XIV at the moment, but you know as well as I do, it is a good game, eventually just to play this it, game. It, it took me an evening just it, to figure out how to play. It's like they don't want you to play the game. It's I know. actually insane. The fact that it's this, <laughs> the fact that it's this successful and it you, this is like the barrier of entry just to fucking play the game. And like people were tweeting at me saying that apparently like one of the like creators of Final Fantasy like had a hard time making his account. Yeah. Like he couldn't get it. Like uh, like struggling. Yeah, like it's, yeah. dude, I, I feel like I am, I'm very good, like technically at figuring out if someone doesn't want to let me pay it for whatever region. Cause I, you know, I've, I've living in Japan, speaking English and, and moving across countries all the time, yeah. doing stuff. I, is... I get very good at like knowing how to work websites into making it work for whatever thing. But this yeah. one was like- This is the final boss. Cause it was, dude. Th it was that on top of the layers of, hey, you have this products that you can buy from these different stores in each in different Unhinged. regions. And also uh, there's different expansion packs that you can buy for your accounts yeah, that yeah. counts differently towards your in-game progress. I tweeted out being like, fuck this, this launcher. <laughs> and then a bunch of people were like, a bunch of people tweeted me being like, yeah, I accidentally bought three copies cause I, I assigned them to wrong accounts. Well, that was interesting. If you want to see how Connor and Iron Mouse got on playing Final Fantasy XIV, do check out my Streamer Highlights episode coming out soon. If you want to see more content like this, do let me know in the comments I'd like to know. Also, do check out my Patreon link in the description. I just released some saucy wallpaper pictures for all supporters. Okay, that's all. Baka.